Hi everyone, my name is Randall Whiteman and welcome to this JD Demo Junior presentation. Today we'll be taking a look at the user interface of JD Edwards Enterprise One ERP version 9.2. I'll be using the standalone client which runs on a single PC and showing many of the great features of this new release. I'll be using application release 9.2 and tools release 9.2.0.1. So let's get started with login, the demo standalone version, user ID and password, both demo. The environment is demo 9.20 and we'll log in with all roles. As we log in, if you've used the version 9.1 of the software, you'll notice the structure is very similar, although the layout, the look and feel has changed significantly. It's a simpler, cleaner look. I prefer it to the previous versions. I think Oracle's done a very good job. So we'll go through and look at the basic structure of the interface and I think you'll realise that it's similar to 9.1 but it's good to see the layout changes have been improved and there are some significant imp functionality improvements as well. Along the top left corner are the uh, home button, navigator, open applications, recent reports, favourites, and if you have any set up access to any watch lists, then you'll see a watch lists button as well. These function the same as 9.1, but I'll quickly run through their functionality. The home button will always bring you back to this initial entry screen with the blank applications pane. And if any, any applications are open, it will they will remain open in the background. The navigator is the menu structure. There are many ways of accessing applications in JDE. You choose the one which works most efficiently for you. The full path, menu path, is always available. So the standard Oracle menu path is here. And I've also created a menu path for JD Demo Junior. What you'll notice is the fast path is integrated directly into the navigator. So typing in UDC there, for instance, will bring up the UDC screen, the configuration screen. Home button will take you back to the main empty applications pane and the application is open in the background. So we've just seen the open applications and how that works. The recent reports, standalone version of JDE does not have a batch server uh, built in so you have to run the reports in local mode on the Windows application, the thick client. Favourites function exactly the same as they do in 9.1. I prefer to have the folder, the main folder for the functionality that I'm accessing uh, off the standard JD menu so that I can get quick access to the areas of JD that I need. Clicking in just a few levels using the standard function, standard menu structure is far easier than trying to locate these areas of functionality in the full menu. Watch lists. If you have any set up, watch lists run over queries which are set up on individual applications. In this case, I have set up some, three queries on the DRP messages as part of the requirements planning module of JDE, specifically to search for messages on branch M30 and three specific items, just so that I can show the functionality of the watch lists. In this case, I've set two thresholds at 10 and 15. So if there are 10 records retrieved by the search, the watch list entry will be bolded. And if there are more than 15 entries in retrieved, records retrieved in the query, then the watch list entry will be read. So it's a really good way of hotspot searching for uh, records which may require attention. It's more a transactional, um, a transactional feature so that you don't miss any uh, critical transactions which are waiting to be processed. Alright, so we'll come out of the UDC application. On the right hand side, the same as 9.1, there's still the roles, only in 9.1 they were separate menu entries. These have been combined into the one, uh, the one entry to make the whole interface cleaner. The roles that you are assigned will be listed and the personalization features are the same with the My System options and preferences. 
manage pages is a new feature in the later releases of JDE where the uh, E1 pages can be set up and managed directly from the user interface by the end user. Clicking on manage pages allows you to upload HTML content if you've created that with the E1 page generator or link directly to a page URL with no additional setup required. Just come out of there, so I've uh, we've enab I've enabled for the demo user the standard Enterprise One page, which has a, a blank, um, just the Oracle JD Edwards logo. Then I've set up four other pages just with URLs, linking to a process diagram that I've created with a business process management tool. So the pages can link to full HTML pages and they will appear directly, be linked directly inside JDE. It's not, the content is not being stored on JDE, but it's the link, it's providing visibility directly in the user interface of JDE. You can see just like any other HTML, it's fully navigatable. I've linked to the JDE Demo Junior website the external website for JD Demo Junior and again full functionality enabling, enabling the, the logins using the social media and every other function which is on JD Demo Junior. Here you might link out to supplier websites, uh, you might have your company website, any internal websites where updates are released. I have linked the YouTube and Facebook pages, but unfortunately the publisher doesn't allow, so the, the websites don't allow content to be in a frame, so there are some limitations. Okay, we'll come back to the standard Enterprise One page. Now, we'll talk about the carousel. So in 9.1, the carousel is another was available as a navigation method and it's the same in 9.2 so you can always reposition by dragging around the screen reposition as your preference is you can always hide the navigation pane the, the carousel And in the carousel, you can see open applications. So again, if we bring up the UDC, the same list under the open applications menu at the top is available in the carousel. Recent reports, again, standalone. We can't run the recent the, uh, UBEs on batch processes on the, the web version standalone. So favourites, if you have your favourites as folders, there's an added advantage if you group them in folders that you can just open up the folder that you want in the carousel and then you can drag the folders wherever you like in the carousel. So if I drag the address book open because I'll be using the address book, probably not a great example, and if I'm doing material planning, it's a bit more meaty. Okay, that's a very clean interface again. Daily processing. So you can navigate up and down the menu structure. Again, you wouldn't want the, the folder structure to be too deep because it still requires navigation. But you can go up and down and you can see your applications there from your favourites. Okay, so we'll use the We'll go and do one of the searches on the watch list. When you click on the watch list entry, it takes you directly to the screen where the query was saved and you can and it immediately runs the query that the watch list is based on. So you can see exactly in the in the grid here, we have ten records. And under the watch list, yes, there were ten records listed. The structure of the application, 
and the application window is exactly the same as it was in 9.1 and you can uh, with the filter section at the top and you've still got the query filters if you've got a very large screen a large large grid and you have lots of queries in there now you wouldn't put X's you would put proper business data and if you just want to clear it all out and start again you've got the clear form so it takes out all of the query information from the form which makes it clean so you can start again still got the standard grid features being able to personalize the grid and change the layout of the, the grid for your purpose hide the fields that you don't want um, your users to see just leave the, the data that is required for the business process you can export the data to Excel you can maximize the grid all the same, same functionality you've got the same functionality in the query features where you can query this is the query which the, the watch list was based on you can take the fields from the header or the, the grid filter fields and you can build up a query and name the query and then run it uh, you don't have to think about the, the data you can share that with roles specific roles so that when specific roles log on to JDE they are automatic to have the queries and the same with watch lists you can publish those to particular roles so that when you assign a particular security role to a user then the queries and the watch lists appear, appear immediately in JDE for that user based on the roles they've been assigned. Now I'll come out of here, but there is this layout. So this is the way a Cafe One composite applications comes in. And when there's a grid, you'll see under personalization there's edit form layout. So what this allows you to do is to dynamically link this screen with additional information within JDE or within a URL. So for instance, if you're in the address book and you have an address field, you can dynamically link and open up Google Maps, for instance, and dynamically search on that address. Um, if, you can, if the website you're going to can pass parameters, then you can set up the, the link. In this instance, I'm going to show an Enterprise One form being set up. Now, so you, choose, you drag on the, the button, bring it across, you can horizontal or vertical so I'm going to do vertical and then you choose the application the form this is the JDE application uh, number and the form version and then you can dynamically link so that you can link your um, parameters when you choose an application to link to you can choose the parameters in that second application to retrieve their values directly from the primary application now I'll show the address book where I have set up two of these composite applications favorites address book daily processing address book revisions so in this instance I've gone to edit form layout and I have set up two applications one linking to the phone numbers section of the who's who in the address book and the other the email internet screen and both I have linked to the uh, li um, the who's who line number zero so if this works for me have had an instance where it hasn't worked immediately. This is the standalone version. It's essentially uh, a full, almost the full version now. It requires the full installation of uh, WebLogic application server. It's not so much a a simple a simple point and click, just one click install. It was quite a bit of setup. It has worked in this instance, which is really good. And there's no email address come through with associated with address book number 505 but the phone number it has shown the phone number now if I say 705 
and it shows a different phone number. The information dynamically links as you choose. So there was no phone number associated with address 1288. This is a really useful feature if you have one screen and maybe there's an inquiry screen associated and based on the information that you are transacting or searching for you can immediately um, update the, the second inquiry screen to keep in sync with the records that you are viewing or searching for in the primary application screen. Many of these features that Oracle have released in JD Edwards 9.2 are really productivity enhancement features and I think it goes a long way in, well it's certainly come a long way since, uh, since the previous releases. Thank you very much, this is a JD Demo Junior presentation. Please come across to the, the YouTube site for more video presentations, the website, log on with your social media and I'll see you there. Thank you.